I think if we're having this conversation 18 months from now or 20 months from now at the end of 2024, Bitcoin's probably at 200,000, if not higher. And I definitely would fully uh, buy into that view. It's just the path to getting there, if you're trying to build a big position to take advantage of that, is likely to be very volatile. At least that's what history suggests. Welcome to Cloud AI. Bitcoin is produced by a process known as mining. This involves using powerful computers to solve complex mathematical problems and verify transactions on the Bitcoin network, earning newly minted Bitcoin as a reward. However, the rate at which new Bitcoin is created is not constant, and instead follows a predictable cycle known as the Bitcoin halving cycle. The Bitcoin halving can present significant opportunities for smart investing. But before we dive into this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel. It only takes a second and you can always change your mind later on. The Bitcoin halving cycle refers to the process by which the rate of new Bitcoin creation is reduced by half roughly every four years. This is accomplished by a built-in feature of the Bitcoin protocol, which gradually decreases the reward given to miners for each block they validate. The halving cycle has significant implications for the Bitcoin ecosystem, as it affects the rate at which new Bitcoin enters circulation and therefore the total supply of Bitcoin. In the early years of the network, when the reward was much higher, new Bitcoin entered circulation at a much faster rate than it does now. This means that the supply of Bitcoin was more inflationary in the past, and has become increasingly deflationary over time. One of the most notable effects of the halving cycle is on the price of Bitcoin. The reduction in the rate of new Bitcoin creation puts downward pressure on the selling pressure from miners, as they are earning fewer coins for their efforts. This reduced selling pressure, combined with the fact that Bitcoin's total supply is limited to 21 million coins, has historically led to significant price increases in the year or two following each halving event. In a recent interview with Anthony Pompliano, the founder of 42 Macro Darius Dale talks about how he is advising his clients to pre pray for the next halving cycle. Is there a history of volatility in Bitcoin heading into the halvings or is the kind of the halving the catalyst for the kind of record appreciation on the other side of that? And the you know, results of the, the the study that I did suggest that there's tends to be a lot of volatility uh, in the year into Bitcoin. Um, you know, I, I can just read these off, you know, sorry to, to not have these off the top of my head. I'm usually better than this. But, you know, so into the November 2012 uh, Bitcoin halving, we saw a minus 39 percent uh, max drawdown in February of 2012. And so I'm looking at the year prior mm -hmm. to the halvings. Um, and we saw a minus 27 percent drawdown in August of 2012. In the July 16 halving, we saw a minus 30 percent drawdown in August 15. We saw a minus 25 percent drawdown in November 15. We saw a minus 20 percent drawdown in February 16. And we saw another minus 20 percent drawdown in June of 16. And then lastly, into the May of 2020 halving, we saw a minus 48 percent drawdown into December 19. And then another minus 53 percent drawdown kind of during COVID in March of 2020. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of crashes, man, in the year leading up to the halving. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to put that out there and say, hey, look, I know this is going to be a very positive event. I think if we're having this conversation 18 months from now or 20 months from now at the end of 2024, Bitcoin's probably at 200,000, if not higher. And I definitely would fully uh, buy into that view. It's just the path to getting there. If you're trying to build a big position to take advantage of that is likely to be very volatile. At least that's what history suggests. There is significant price volatility in the year leading up to each halving event. To understand the price volatility in the year leading up to each halving event, it is useful to examine the previous halving cycles. One way to do this is using the stock to flow ratio. I have another video that goes into more detail on the S2F ratio. You can access it by following the link in the description below. And as Darius explained you can use the volatility to ensure that you invest in the smartest way possible for a long position on Bitcoin in relation to next year's halving event. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.